floods, earthquakes, tornadoes, wildfires. Everything can change in an instant when emergencies strike. I'm Ness Murby. I'm a Paralympian. I'm blind. I'm a disaster survivor. And I'm your host for this video series that is your guide to prepare and plan for natural emergencies in Canada. This is your AMI Emergency Series. Fires. Fires are one of the most common disasters, regardless of where you live. If you're blind or partially sighted, disasters like fires present unique challenges for your personal safety. Fires can strike anywhere and can drastically change familiar environments. Surfaces get hot, smoke makes it difficult to breathe, and noises get drowned out by the sound of the fire or alarms. This can create an especially dangerous situation for you. Practicing fire prevention is the most effective way to minimize your risk, and being prepared improves your chances of survival if fire breaks out. Before there's a fire, there are a few things you can do. Assess the risks within your home. Would you be able to smell fire? Could you hear your smoke alarms? Could you exit your home easily without encountering barriers? Install smoke alarms. Place alarms next to each sleeping area and on every floor of your home. Test the batteries monthly and replace them semi-annually. Typically, we do this when the clocks change during daylight savings time or at the spring and fall equinox. If you're unable to do this yourself, ask a family member, neighbor, building manager, or someone from the fire department to give you a hand. Creating an evacuation plan and practicing your route is one of the most important things you can do to save your life in a fire. If possible, find two ways to exit every room. Make sure you can unlock all of your doors and windows and identify your nearest emergency exit to leave the building. Practice this plan with your cane or with your guide dog so that when there is an emergency, you are confident in your route. Remember that in the confusion and disorientation of a fire, it may be more challenging to find your way out. You may be forced to crawl along the floor to avoid smoke. It can be really helpful if you place tactile markers along the baseboard of exit routes inside your home. During a fire. If your home is on fire, get out quickly and stay out. Test the doors before opening them. By using the back of your hand, reach up high and touch the door, the doorknob and the space between the door and frame. If anything feels hot, keep the door shut and use your second exit. If everything feels cool, open the door slowly and crawl out low to the ground. If you are trapped, close all the doors between you and the fire. Use damp clothes or towels to stuff cracks in the door. Know where your vents are and cover them to the best of your ability to keep smoke out. If possible, call the fire department and tell them where you are located inside your home. Signal rescuers from a window with a light colored cloth keep a few in pre-designated places for this purpose. During a fire, if your clothing catches fire, stop, drop, and roll. Wildfires. If wildfires are getting close to your home, proactively check TV, radio, and social media to know when to evacuate. Alert your family and neighbors or have them come to get you. Bring service animals and pets inside with you. Close all of your windows, doors, and cover all your vents. Turn off the power and propane or gas lines. Move flammables, like curtains or furniture, away from the windows and fill the bath, sinks, and buckets with water. Place wet towels under any doors. When it's time to evacuate, go immediately before the emergency escalates. Remember to take your grab and go kit with you. Once you're safe, call 911. Then connect with someone from your trusted team for help and support. Be sure to watch our video on planning your evacuation. You can watch the complete AMI emergency series at ami.ca on the AMI-TV app and on the AMI YouTube channel.